Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm Jack Knott, and I'm the dean of the Saul Price School of Public Policy, and I'm really delighted to welcome you to this reception this evening, and uh, it's great to see so many of you here. Um, this reception is a very exciting time uh, for USC Price in Sacramento as we uh, celebrate the addition of two dynamic faculty leaders uh, in the center. And tonight we are honored to welcome our newest members of our faculty. Uh, I guess they're all ready <laughs> for this standing over there. Uh, <laughs> they're also very compliant, as you can see. Uh, um, <laughs> anticipatory, yes. Uh, uh, Dr. Janet Denhart and Dr. Bob Denhart. Uh, could we uh, welcome them to the faculty? Uh, Janet is the Chet Newland Professor of Public Administration. That's a pretty hefty title to have. And she's also the new director of the USC Price Center in Sacramento. So we're uh, really pleased about that. So Janet. Uh, she boasts an exemplary record as an educator. Uh, she comes to us from Arizona State uh, University, where she previously served as a professor and also director of the doctoral program uh, in the School of Public Affairs at Arizona State. Uh, she's a noted scholar. Uh, she's co-authored five books, uh, in addition to publishing numerous uh, journal articles. And just uh, shortly after joining the Price School, very nice timing, Janet, uh, she was elected to uh, be a member, a fellow of the na uh, prestigious National Academy of Public Administration. So we should congratulate her for that as well. well I always love that when people wait till they get here and then win a prestigious award, you know, and then we can say, well, well you know, we take credit for it. <laughs> um, her husband, Bob, is the new director of leadership programs uh, at Price, uh, which includes our uh, really fine uh, executive ma master of uh, leadership degree, the EML degree. And we're really uh, very thankful that Bob is taking on this role. He's widely recognized also as a scholar in public administration, organizational development, ethics, and leadership. And uh, he's the former director of the Arizona State School of Public Affairs. He's the past president of the American Society for Public Administration. And he's also an elected fellow of Napa. You should have just waited a little bit, Bob. But, uh, but he's uh, been a fellow, I think, for a few years now. Uh, and so we're really, really proud uh, to welcome these two distinguished educators and academics uh, who are going to be, uh, have been leaders in their profession and now are going to uh, be leaders in leadership positions here at USC Price. Uh, with the addition of uh, Janet and Bob to our uh, Sacramento faculty, uh, it, this uh, completes an investment in faculty, which also includes uh, Professor, Professor Juliet Musso. And I, is Juliet here? So uh, we're thankful that Juliet is here as well. Um, and Juliet's been uh, directing uh, the uh, Sacramento portion of our uh, Master of Public Administration program. She's done a tremendous amount of work on local government, but also is a, a very pr uh, a strong expert on uh, uh, state government as well. And so uh, we're really happy that Juliet is here. And uh, also uh, Professor Chris Ware is Chris? He's home with the kids. Okay. <laughs> Uh, this work family balance. Um, <laughs> with this combination of uh, uh, four faculty uh, of the prominence that we have, uh, I really feel uh, that we're going to have a, a greater and deeper impact in the public policy arena and be able to pr prepare our students to be the future leaders in the public affairs that uh, we want them to be. So. Uh, I'd like to uh, have one more round of applause for all of our new faculty here at Christ. Now, uh, before I uh, continue with the program, I, I want to make a brief acknowledgement. Um, the Chet Newland Professorship, uh, for which Janet is the inaugural holder, was made possible through generous donations of about 130 alumni and friends uh, of the Price School. So it was a really uh, major collective effort. 
And this was uh, proposed to me initially uh, by a Sterling Franklin, uh, who is here with us tonight. And it was Sterling, along with his brother Larry, who had this idea for uh, honoring Chet with a professorship and then challenging us uh, to you know, uh, match the contributions that, uh, that he and his brother would make through the Morris Smith Foundation. So uh, it was really uh, through Sterling's uh, creativity and um, admiration of Chet and coming up with this idea and convincing us uh, easily. We thought, wow, that's a great idea. That's about how much convincing it took. Uh, and then uh, you know, prodding and pushing and working with us to get another 130 people to contribute, in, including some of you here and, and members of the faculty as well. So I'd like a rousing uh, hand of applause for uh, Sterling Franklin. <laughs> Could you raise your hand? Yes. So we, th we thank you, Sterling, for advancing the mission of the Price School and really helping us uh, uh, solidify and bring in the, these outstanding faculty that we have here today. Um, so uh, I also extend my uh, heartfelt thanks uh, to all the supporters, not only of the Chet Newland professorship, but the many, many ways that uh, you have supported the school and the center. Uh, this center, as, uh, since it doesn't have a, the university here surrounding it, you know, like it, uh, we do at the school in Los Angeles, depends even more on your involvement, your support, your contribution to uh, connect us to the community, to make us visible in the community, to help us shape the program and, and, and know what our role should be here. So uh, you, you're integral and key to the success that we have here in, in Sacramento. So I, I really thank all of you for, for, your, for being here tonight and for your many contributions. So at this time, uh, I'd like to introduce our next speaker, uh, none other than uh, Chet Newland, who has been already mentioned. Uh, he will introduce uh, our uh, honorees for this evening. Now, uh, you know, Chet is one of these people that uh, has won almost every single award in his field that you can imagine. Uh, but he's been a faculty at USC for more than 30 or 40 years. And he's been teaching uh, here in Sacramento since 1984. And just to put that in perspective, many of our undergraduate students, you know, were born in the 1990s. So uh, <laughs> he's uh, been at it a while. Uh, he's been an exceptional scholar and teacher. Uh, and he's has a, um, not only is he well known as a scholar, but he has an exceptional passion and commitment to students that I think you all are aware of. Um, and that's just, you know, very special for him compared to, uh, you know, almost any prominent scholar I've met, somebody who just even at this stage, you know, when he's had all the recognition that he can have, he's been teaching, comes here at seven in the morning, prepares his classes and is devoted to his students. And that's an integral part of what makes Chet such a, gr a great person. Uh, and he's really become uh, both a national and international icon uh, in this field. And so I'm very pleased to introduce Chet to you. I am especially honored that all of you would be here tonight. I have been privileged to work with many of you as students, others as colleagues, but I'll reflect for a moment or so on my past with USC. I actually first came 47 years ago. Uh, Emery Olson and Henry Reining, uh, who were then the deans, recruited me from Texas, and they encouraged me to come, saying that USC is distinctive in that it's town and gown not gown first. And they reminded me that back in 1880, the university had been created with that distinctive orientation to community. The first, what would become a great university, open without distinction based on gender or race, uh, faith, uh, simply looking for people of great community leadership locally, statewide, nationally, and globally. And they did promise me that I could be a pracademic. 
back in those days and even today, it's rare that a great university will allow a person to do that. But I have been especially privileged and I'm grateful to USC for allowing me to work both as a teacher and as a practitioner without pretending to be an academic scholar along the way. It's always been a Trojan family. Those mentioned by Jack would be typical. Say Chris Weir and Juliet are not only great teachers, but great parents. Um, I'll note another one. Say a couple of our alumni each gave $50,000 for this scholarship. And Rich Callahan is somewhere back there. Where's Rich? Uh, Rich, uh, Rich and Denise Callahan are very much like Chris and Juliet, finest parents in the world and great Trojans at the same time. And likewise, Janet and Bob, whom we honor tonight, I can remember Janet quite well as a student who finished her DPA here. I still have her dissertation. I was tempted to bring it in tonight. <laughs> sitting right around the corner so we can show you that she actually did the work. Uh, and uh, John Moles, our very distinguished chief magistrate for Northern California, was a part of her uh, dissertation committee. Uh, are Betty and John here? Do you see them? Oh, good. And again, that's typical of USC. Uh, we reach out recognizing the communities whom we serve as being our superiors and helping us be superior as a result. That has been a special blessing for me. Now, before I introduce uh, Janet and Bob so that they can comment for a moment, I do want Sterling to come up and I'll comment just a bit more and then let him have a minute or two as well. I'm so old that <laughs> like Ross Clayton, where is Ross? Ross, you ought to come up here where we can at least see you. Ross is one of our former deans, and <laughs> come on up so people can at least. <clears throat> Ross could remind you that um, Carl Franklin, Sterling and Larry's father, um, raised millions at USC for the university, <clears throat> but <clears throat> far more than that. They also raised the standards tremendously. So a word or two, <coughs> we're sterling. Well, Jed had asked me to say a few words, and earlier I was thinking about what can I say? Isn't this a wonderful event, a wonderful celebration? And I think almost everyone in this room is old enough to remember the TV action adventure show, The A-Team. And you may recall about every third episode, about two thirds of the way through the show, when everything was just going haywire, George Pippard would take his cigar out of his mouth and say those immortal words, I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> so that's what I have to say about the Chester A. Newland professorship. We started fundraising, we started the campaign on my birthday, May the 9th, uh, 2007. Took us a while to get to a million dollars, which we did in October 2010. And that was our goal, to help create this professorship, to honor Chet, and to try to attack a wonderful professor to come to the Sacramento Center. And it really couldn't have turned out any better. Janet Denhart is fabulous. Bob Denhart is fabulous. Wonderful people. And then the job of the director of the Leadership programs in LA opened up in December 2012 with the retirement of Bob Myrtle. And who was there to fill the job? <laughs> Bob Denhart. Oh, thank you, Jesus. How things come together beautifully. Congratulations to Janet on being named the director of the Sacramento Center program. We're off again to a wonderful start at this fabulous center going to do great things in the future and educate more students for mid-level government positions in our local, state, and regional and national governments, increase the expertise all around, and do great things. So, yippee! <laughs> 
Thank you, Sterling. It is astonishing as we watch USC continue our great tradition as a private university with uh, Max Nikias and uh, Beth, our provost, working away on a $6 billion effort. And of course, a lot of that with the deans working quite hard. But the examples that count if you look at one of those plaques that Sterling thoughtfully prepared, you'll find many of our students who contributed like $50, $100 at times when I know good and well they couldn't afford it. And that has likewise been true. I'll go back to the very beginning then as where I started. In 1880, it was really uh, the community <laughs> of Los Angeles that came together and created the university. In 1928 and 29, it was the city manager over at Glendale who came over to the school and said, we have to clean up this corruption and get things moving. That has always been the character of this university. And with Janet and with Bob, I'm confident it will continue. Janet, would you like to speak? Thank you very much. Um, I just want to say three very quick things. Um, I don't know if any of you noticed, but when um, Dean Knott mentioned that I was the Chester Newland professor, I clapped. And the reason for that is that it's all about Chet. Um, this professorship is a, is a tribute to your legacy, and I am lucky enough to count myself as one of your students, but I know everyone in this room, and every, students around the, the world have been touched by Chet, and, and his contribution to public service and his support and mentoring. And so thank you, Chet. It's an honor. Um, and, and I accept the Newland professorship as a signal of the things that I should strive toward knowing I'll never meet them. Um, the second thing that I want to say is thank you. Um, we've mentioned the, the importance of all of the people that were involved. Um, in supporting the Newland Professorship. Um, we want to be friends for life. You're always welcome here. We want to build stronger connections. Um, you're a part of us, and we want to be a part of your life. And so please um, come in any time. I'm anxious to hear from you, and let's keep working together. The third thing I want to say is thank you to Jack Knott um, and Elizabeth Grady. Um, it's because of their visionary leadership that the center is um, enjoying this sort of new energy and, and looking forward. Um, there are some great opportunities that I think we can take advantage of with you. And I just want to thank you for everything that you've done um, for the center and, and for the, the vision that you've laid out for us. I am so honored to be here. And I will just echo what Sterling um, said, yippee. I'm glad I'm here. <laughs> See if we can adjust a little bit. Uh, I want to tell you how excited I am to be here and to be part of the USC family. As I look around the room, I realize that I'm one of the real newcomers here. Uh, most of you have had a USC affiliation for much longer than I have. But I do want to say that though I've only been here a short time, intellectually I've been at USC for many, many years. Um, when I was growing up, I was a big jazz fan, as I still am. And I knew there was an East Coast jazz and a West Coast jazz. And I liked the West Coast jazz, because it was cool jazz. <laughs> I also learned, when I started my doctoral work, that there was an East Coast public administration and a West Coast public administration. And I liked the West Coast public administration, because <laughs> it was cool. <laughs> and it was centered, as you might know, at USC. And so when I look to intellectual models for the field, I look to people here, Chet Newland, Ross Clayton, uh, and many, many others. And so I've been following that tradition for a long time. Uh, there's another important influence on me, and that's another USC graduate, Janet, who is now a partner, the woman I love, and a frequent co-author, <laughs> when she allows me to do that. <laughs> 
So I, I do think uh, you made a wonderful choice, and I'm glad that <laughs> I'm glad that in my long desire to become a part of the USC family, I at least was able to marry into it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me say a quick word of appreciation for Chet, who has uh, who's been a long time friend and colleague, and it's such an honor to be here with him uh, on a daily basis and at occasions like this. Chet has always been a model for me. I've watched him very closely and tried to emulate many of the things he's done. I uh, particularly like Chet's style because he slips up on you from in front. You know what I mean? I noticed that particularly when he was president of ASPA. And he would let the conversation at the council go on and on. And then he would step up and say, that's a splendid idea. But I think if we twisted it a little bit, it would be even better. And people would say, oh, yeah, that's right. And they would go on pursuing that idea, Chet's idea, as if it were their own. <laughs> so I thought this was good. I'm going to do the same thing. So I let the conversation go on for a while. And then I stood up and said, I think you have some really splendid ideas. And they said, OK, you can sit down now. <laughs> so I still have more to learn, Chet. But it's good to be with you to learn that stuff. Thank you. Um, we have a, a, a couple of gifts for our honorees, but uh, since Elizabeth was mentioned, um, this is Elizabeth Grady. She's the vice dean of the Price School, and I'd like to have her have a rouse and applause as well. Um, Elizabeth has uh, been the vice dean uh, about seven of the eight years that I've been dean. She keeps taking sabbaticals. Uh, but uh, she's been terrific. She's uh, really my right-hand person. So, okay, uh, we, uh, this is a chair, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so the gift, yes. you, know, it's hard, you know, it's hard to tell what this is, but we have a chair, so this is for you, uh, Janet, and uh, we present it. I want to note that my staff suggested that, that I sit in the chair and, and that we cover me. This, this is a very, you know, this is only given to uh, endowed uh, professorships and chairs, so it's a, you know, it's a, it's a kind of gift reserved just for that honor. So we're Thank pleased you. to present it to you. Bob, we don't have a chair, but we do have a, I think what you'll enjoy, it's a, one of these uh, USC Price, uh, uh, it's a, it's a uh, briefcase, but it's got wheels and you can, uh, uh, <laughs> so, uh, Again, uh, we're really uh, pleased to have uh, Bob and Janet here. They've already made a huge difference uh, joining uh, uh, Chris and Juliet. Uh, I feel we have, a, when you think of the level of uh, knowledge and expertise in public administration that this group represents, uh, I can't think of any center as part of a school that can match it. So uh, it, it's really great for us to have you join us, uh, even if by marriage. <laughs> Have you here. And, uh, <laughs> so, and also thanks all of you for coming. Uh, we really, uh, as I said before, benefit from your involvement in the school. I hope you get to know uh, Janet and Bob a lot better over the course of, of this year and the years ahead. And uh, we are uh, one big Trojan family together. So thank you all. And, uh,